TYT Sports locked out. Pat Summit today announced her resignation as head coach of the Lady Vols program just eight months, just under eight months after she came out and said that she has early onset dementia. Summit is 59 years old. You could say she passed along the torch to longtime assistant of 27 years, uh, Holly Warlick. A few of her feats at Tennessee, and man, it is a long, long list. She took over the program in 1974. Eight national championships, 18 Final Fours, 1,098 career wins to only 206 losses. She won Coach of the Year in the NCAA seven times. All of her teams, they never failed to make an NCAA tournament. 1984 gold medal, 16 SEC championships to go along with 16 SEC tournament titles. In the tournament, her teams never received a seed lower than five. With 1,098 wins to her credit, she is the all-time winningest coach in Division I basketball. That's more than Adolph Rupp, who has 876, more than Dean Smith with 879, more than Jim Beheim with 890, more than even Bob Knight with 902, and more than the great Coach K, Mike Krzyzewski, with 927. Another award to be added to her resume was the Presidential Medal of Freedom. One thing about Pat Summit, every Lady Vol who completed their eligibility graduated. Something that a lot of college basketball coaches cannot say. I'm looking at you, John Calipari. Either way, she will now become head coach emeritus and her responsibilities will be help with recruiting, watching practice, joining staff meetings, help, helping coaches analyze practice and games, and advising the SEC on women's basketball issues and mentoring players. As I said, Holly Warlick, a 27-year assistant, three-time All-Star for Pat Summit, will now take over, uh, take the reins as head coach. Uh, in closing, Mike Krzyzewski had this to say about Pat Summit. As I've said many times, Pat Summit is a pioneer of basketball. Well put, Mike. Well put.